trained for one purpose. They dare think themselves your equal. None can match your skill. It is every Spartan's duty to embody the very nature of war. Strike now, I beg you. You would plunge Greece into chaos. This is Sparta! Hello everyone, Proxy War here and welcome back to the channel. This is part 12 of my Sparta campaign for Total War Rome 2 and we're picking up where we last left things. In the last episode we managed to uh, put down a slave rebellion. We've also, um, you know, helped our, not allies because we have an ally up with them, uh, but Nova Cartho, Carthogo and uh, Carthage, you know, try and defeat the Romans. We managed to capture Syracuse and things like that. So now we are making the long journey back to Greece which is taking an, an absolute age, so we can go after Macedon. They have rather large armies here, and it's going to be really fun to go up against them. And we can showcase our um, new upgrades for our troops here. So we're going to go for that and that. Uh, let's take a look at see if there's any civil war chances. No, I'm still at 0%. We're halfway to the next Imperium level, which is quite nice. And you guys are fairly happy. We upgrade the cities that can give us more garrison at will so is this so yeah i'm just need to focus on that food's not really an issue just yet um, but if we keep building loads of big buildings it will be so something to bear in mind i'm just going to take a look and see if we can leave we can leave brilliant uh we'll pop you in um double time as well and we can sort of go that way yeah whatever's the quickest route so just there we go we can go there we can march on land but the navy cannot march on land so we're gonna sort of sail that way uh, i think 14 ships um is fine i don't think we'll have a lot of issues we're gonna use these fire pot things maybe they're cool i'm not sure i'm gonna take um the spy here yeah i just want to see what other troops they have uh, how big are these garrisons 10 10 some will be mob and archers that's fine but obviously this is their main fighting force so um, I'm thinking with all of this we're going to need at least two stacks so we can bring in um, these guys along with um, who would we rather have maybe these guys because they got more cavalry to go around their pikemen and stuff so we'll send in our faction air, faction leader to go and deal with that whereas this army can then um, go down to uh, Athena, Athea and then we can take out the Athenians and then go on from there. So, uh, that's all we can do. Take a look at income, trade. Again, we can't trade. I think there's a glitch happening with that. So, we can't actually trade, which, I mean, doesn't make us super powerful because obviously you can't get as much money as what we should be getting. But then we need to focus on more industry sort of buildings and things like that. Um, uh, they've actually left now. Cool. So, I think we can maybe disband these units gets our income up a little bit more again just to stimulate the economy i know we can also change some edicts from bread and games here um to other things uh so let's take a look so you also bread and games let's go for um commerce buildings let's go for tax harvesting the magna gratia uh where's our other oh, so italia magna gratia and then Lyria here Okay, there's our top earners. And then, oh, didn't organize them. Macedon, that's fine. You can also go for tax harvesting, and that's going to increase our money as well. Um, cool, we got one more turn on Siege Tower. Again, we're just sort of trying to get some of the Siege technology done because we haven't done any of that. Um, but that's fine. That's our end of turn as our troops move around. Oh. Can they capture this Roman fleet? It will be interesting. Otherwise, they'll be chasing it all over the known world. Quite funny. But yeah, I can't believe it's part 12 already. I've been sitting down recording loads of these episodes just because I've been enjoying the campaign so much. I hope you guys are as well. I know in terms of views, it's not getting as much as the sort of 12-12 um, AD mod, but that's because... Um, the medieval kingdoms um, but then because that's an actual mod and people are, i think are more interested in um in that 
um, because it's like a full overhaul mod where this is sort of more vanilla Rome 2 and people played loads of them. But there's a mod that I want to check out after this um, called the New World mod. I think that looks really, really cool, really interesting. Um, now that that's done, I think we should probably go for, let's get the mercenaries here so we can slot in towards our top tier infantry. Um, Carthage upgraded. Cool. So your garrison's gone up to 11. Got Spartan pikemen, some other pikemen. Some hoplites that's going to give us a little bit more as well brilliant um you're on 10 and 11 that's fine uh edict is issued i didn't really increase a lot but it is winter so wait for next turn trouble populace magna gratia really uh but you're getting better so that's fine enemy fleet withdrawals that's the same fleet we've been chasing or they've been chasing for ages Cool, let's move the fleets up again. I know we don't have to do this manually, but it's kind of nice. I just like to do that. Um, and that way we can't get confused about where's, who's going where. So you're going to go there. Uh, we can even pick up an extra unit of maybe some black hoplites or something. And then you are going to come here. And then we can march on here. Hopefully we have a nice cool plane battle. Or we can hit them in one turn, bring out all their armies at once. Get our fleets involved as well. I think that'd be so sick. Uh, we're going to save the rest of our income. Hmm, let's upgrade that actually. Save the rest of the income in a turn there. Mission issued, public works, etc. That's fine. Um, well, then again, the um, economy is not so... Not the economy, the public order is not as high now, obviously. Um, cool. But again, so many upgrades we can do. We haven't even built dignitaries. I've totally forgotten about those. What is our top earner? It's going to be Italia, isn't it? Yeah. No, Macedon is. Macedonia. Okay, Pella, you're going to recruit an agent. You're going to go for dignitary. You're going to increase our tax rate. Um, that, then again, you give us a little bit more public order and stuff, so we'll get you. Oh, nice. He gets a skill straight away. Uh, what do we need? Upkeep for units. That's also pretty good, actually. That might not be a bad shout, but we got our champion in there. Cool. 4,000 to upgrade that now. We're only going to keep our money. I think it'll be rather useful. They're very happy, but you have a large army in there. Again, let's just overturn. Just sort of potting on through, trying to get our troops back to Greece. Ah, there we go. So yeah, if we can attack them, so we'll put these guys on the border. If we can hit them all at once, we'll put our fleet there as well, and then we can bring in our own ships have an epic clash and then this will just fall easily enough and then we have to take over Athens at some point Will you, not give our people? you don't need a military access I don't understand why you would want to do that um, increase in rank that's fine take a look at that it is an honor to serve. it's our champion um, morale so it gives us morale Two percent morale for all units faction wide after a successful su assassination. Interesting. Okay. Uh, form um, plus four percent morale for all the units. Oh, but then you l minus the movement range. Don't want that. We want the movement range. Um. Then we've gotten all the really good stuff. Because that's all just recruitment, Ethan's. We've, we've already recruited our army, not planning on losing it. But I guess we'll just go for that. That's fine. Um, you have a full stack, so yeah, you can continue on marching there. 
There we go. Um, you do not have a full stack, so we're gonna march you over there, and then you're going to pick up one unit of something. Maybe another archer unit. Actually, I wouldn't mind. No, they got javelins, which we can actually let's get rid of the javelins. Yeah, let's get rid of the javelins. Then we'll pick up one black hoplite, two archers. Oh, and then one unit of cab as well, like that. There you go. That's fine. You got quite a lot of cavalry, so better on more open fields than at sieging. Then we got javelins instead. Hello, javelins. Cool. Uh, you guys. I've just been deployed here the entire time, so I'm actually gonna move you up. Your next command. Uh, not, I'm not gonna be quite in range though, unfortunately. Um, again, I'm going to save whatever money we have left in case we need to rally a force or something. Um, but once these guys are recruited, we'll pop them on this border. Move the fleet into range. Oh, I should have taken them out. That, that's fine. And the turn. There we go. We're setting up a nice invasion now. Hermes, speed your... It's going to take... Mm, one or two more turns because you have to move this army into position and then we'll go from there. I wonder if once one of our full stacks could take on that. I, I think they probably could, but I'm not going to risk it because you know it's going to throw a huge spanner in the works. Um, so we're going to go for a normal stance now and we're going to pop you on the border. How far can you reach? If only it was one. I mean, we can trespass and then attack. I don't think that's an issue. It's going to be winter next turn. So I'll tell you what we can do. Now, we'll stay there, go in, fortify up, and then and then attack him. Um, we're going to pop you on the bridge. Because if they want to send this army to go and attack us here as well, fair enough. We can then use the fleet to take whatever settlement they abandon. If they do push out... With, with a full stack, I mean, we will sink it easily. We've already tested that with the Romans, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really afraid of that at all, actually. Okay, let's um, do another end turn quickly. And then we'll start taking these guys out. Sparta still has a thirst for blood. Will you not give our people a little gold? You have. I don't give you two grand because I've been saving up my money. The spirits have noticed that I would. Ooh, oh, we, did, we gave them military access. Mm, thinkers have often sought to organize a management of the state and the self, such as the works of Xarephon and Aristotle. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Uh, but what do you think is important? Agriculture, slavery. Fair. Um, education and advancement. 10% research rate. Community. That's education, man. It's always about education. There you go. Motivate the populace. Alaria. Very nice. Trade gained. Ooh, drill master plus four authority. Pretty good. We're not going to suffer any attrition. Cool. We are... Who do you want to attack with? Probably... I want to attack with these guys, just because... I would love to see the um, Black Hoplites. I haven't attacked them just yet. We'll keep this army here, because we can reach the city anyway. So we'll stay by the... Um, the bridge. One more end turn, and then we can start focusing on the economy again as well. We can pump all that money we've saved up into that, or we can build better troops, we'll see. We can even raise another army now, I think. Four. Like, really good stacks. Um, adoption, stop the adoption. Um, cavalry training, I guess. We don't really... 
get good cavalry. Okay, it is spring, it's raining. Oh, we're gonna have to do that weird. We hunger for battle. The way is ready for battle. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. You need to go there. You need to come out double time. None. Pop you there. Okay. Very well. We are going to attack now. Oh, they've run away. But we can. I mean, we can just attack the city normally. That's fine. Commander. They are coming anyway. Loads and loads of troops. We have our fleet as well. Nice. Oh, easy, easy victory for us, but I'm still going to fight it. Uh, I'll beat you on the battlefield map. Okay, here we are on the battlefield map. We will start deployment. A nice dry day. Summer, um, I was thinking of spring actually, wasn't it? Okay, but there we go. We're going to drop our hoplites and things first, and then we'll take a look at them. Um, how far can we deploy? Nice little settlement. What I would really like is like full size cities, you know, to fight in. You know, like this. Is, how is this going to support a population of like thousands, you know? But obviously, we are far, far away from that sort of uh, development. Anyway, um, let's take uh, get uh, these hoplites into formation. Spears in the front. Spartan Swordsman, we haven't looked at these guys yet either. A little bit better than our Spartan Swords. Not to get confused. Pop lights there. Cavalry on the flanks. Archers, so we can penetrate those um, pike walls. And then we've got the black hoplites. Let's pop them there. Uh, let's give these. Okay, there we go. These are the black hoplites. Oh, I think the armor looks so cool. Again, don't have any shoes, really. Some of them don't have shoes. But yeah, I think they look really cool. Really, really gorgeous looking models. Troops awaiting orders. Just proof. Oh, are these the... Cool, they're Spartan Swordsmen. Also, heavily, more heavily armed, it looks like. This guy looks fierce as hell. So it's got different helmets. These are more uniform. So the more of a standard army, I guess. Maybe these are more nobles. Like, you know, you could um, well play that. Obviously, we've got reinforcements in, but we'll we'll see what we need. And we've got our fleet coming in as well. Let's take a look at our fleet. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Um, obviously, we want to try and sink that. Can run a little bit, don't mind. If we can ca catch some of them, that'll be quite nice. It can't be all their forces, is it? No. Nope. It's going to be a rather long battle, this actually, just because of all the logistics that we have to manage. Come on, make it in there, guys. Oh, why are you going that way? Sort of blocking our oh, ships. Oh, we might not get there. They're going to disembark. That's fine, but we can sit in from the shores and just get rid of them. Leonidas Heavy Tower. Interesting. Who's closest? You are cl our general's closest to theirs. Try and get rid of that. Yeah, just skirmish these guys to death. Yeah, they're already breaking. Cool. Moving out! At your command, 
support ships. Ready and awaiting. Hard right, they're gonna disembark before we get there. So we'll send two units that way. So I'll get my fleet into position first. Support ships ready and waiting. To the oars. Ready for orders. Oh like, shit, gotta get out of here quickly. To the orders. I uh, sort of make room for those ships to escape. It'd be cool if you could capture ships. I went straight into it. Again, I was trying to let them have some space. Where are my archers at? Oh, you're over there. Cool. We can sit there. You can just shear these light peltas so you outrange them. So, go for it. How tired are we? Going to be pretty tired, I'm sure. Let's start moving on in. Where's our archers here? We're almost in range. No, what is... We're in range. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, wow. That's massive, man. I don't know what... And they are killing, that's good. How's these archers doing? Uh, let's sort of get away from this. Shoot those guys. Leonidas archers. Oh, but these are like standard archers. Start getting these these ships on the beaches yet. We just get rid of those peltas. That'll be really helpful. Our archers have got serious amount of range on them. Like, what is this? Missiles awaiting targets. Look at that, and they destroy their pikemen unit. Fire on the enemy. The enemy general is dead. Nice. You guys start going that way. Get supported by some cavalry. Pikemen, drop your pikes. Oh, are they coming towards? If they are, let's try and box these in. Use the buildings to our advantage here. Have some reinforcements. Reinforce that line there. You guys are going to start going in there. We are landing on the beaches. Nice. Oh, sort of gone half flanking around us there. Uh, but we, counter cavalry tactics should help us there. Let's break off the oh, archers. Oh, let's pull you back. Bit silly of me. The uh, naval troops have landed. The Spartan Marines. I know they're not actually Marine units, but you know, it's pretty cool. In the line there. Yep, you guys can chase them. If you can reach them, do. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Get rid of those archers, please. Thank you. Uh, oh no, we managed to just catch them in time. Counter cavalry tactics on them. Nice. Oh. 
know we've got a good like sort of front line here, but I think we have to just sort of charge on in. Try and get rid of these archers. Where's the, our cavalry? You got some cavalry here. Yeah. And start our flanking them as well. As we capture that. Uh, you guys can land, please. Thank you. And you can land there. You can land there. Main battle line is focusing on that. They're really focusing on this one unit of hotline, trying to break through. Let's shoot this cavalry unit. This cavalry unit's still there. We're gonna block those. Lots to manage, actually. Not going on. Oh, yep. As I thought. bog them down and get these guys in. Good play though, I mean they managed to flank some of the archers. Cool, managed to capture some of these skirmishes. Don't have a lot of cavalry. Oh, there's pikemen holding up. I think they're doing fine. Archers are taking some knocks, but nothing too bad. Uh, let's go there. Let's go there. Pikemen. Pop your get your walls down. Pop and toes, focus on them. Oh no! Oh, was it the navy guy? I'm hoping it is. Where are these other swords that I've been sending? There we go. Oh no, we've lost our... I'm hoping it's the Navy troops. Because you still got that. Oh no, it's definitely not. It's these guys. Oh, we lost our... Faction heir, that uh, faction leader, I think. Oh man, that's such a shame. The men are wavering. Oh, he died in a true Spartan. Um, I don't know where you guys are going, but you need to focus on these guys, please. Thank you. Cavalry again. Our cavalry is just absolute shit. But I mean, they are charging into Piper, it looks like. So that also is an issue. Um, can we flank these archers, um, pikemen, please? Uh, our pikes are going up against theirs. Absolutely getting decimated though. Archers are supporting. We had a killer range on those archers. So that was really cool. Uh, those pikemen are basically broken. But uh, yeah, I think that what happened was we charged our general into the pikes. Um, bit of an oversight, obviously, on my part. Oh well, you can you can stop shooting. So you're just gonna. Oh, those are they're not our archers. <laughs> our men flee the field of battle. Come on, our Spartan archers are much cooler than yours. So hopefully we can stab them to death. Thank you. Um, don't know what else they sort of have left. We captured the city center ages ago. I guess we can just speed up, see who's still fighting. So these guys. 66 companions left. Oh, these guys only got 50 minutes. Okay, cool, we have one it's in the battle there. Unfortunately, our faction leader has passed away in glorious battle. So we're gonna give a another unit oh, i like this really look of these guys to be fair so who do we need leading the dynasty let's take a look i think this is our son and um son-in-law we'll take him for sure i think it's him anyway if not we'll swap him out so yeah we'll take a look faction politics 
Ah, oh, yes, passed away. Age 40. Cool. Our son is also in um, of age. He can start leading forces. You should be leading these guys, Spartan Guard. Yep, exactly right. So we need to start giving you some cool um, sort of uh, stats. Uh, let's take a look at what we have going on here. Pet sheep, that's also very good. This gives you a, um, lots of morale. Noble Steed might be pretty good as well. Uh, this is nice. 10% for ships. No. Morale for defending raiding fleets. Let's go pet sheep here and then we'll just give you the drinking horn, etc. Um, you are a faction heir. Give you the noble steed. You need to marry so you can start having children. New leader, the Phobiabus. Trunken wife, oh, that's not good. And we've got intelligent husband. Promotion! Um, not too sure who to give something else to. Campaign map moving range, that'll be pretty good. Homie sandals, fair enough. Okay, so you need to raise an army to avenge your father. Uh, th this army didn't actually come in to play, that's why. Okay, well that's fine. We can use you. Start attacking them. Nice. We're going to obviously auto resolve this one. We lost more troops than what we needed to. Obviously, we just auto resolved, but I mean, what's the fun of that? You know, it was good to see a huge battle. Uh, but it did end rather quickly, to be fair. Um, I was expecting it to last a little bit longer. We're all just enslaved for now. Nice. At least he's got his upgrade now. So he's got his helmet. Very cool. And then we're going to go skill tactician and then we go over in this attack. So obviously, we lose all those buffs, which is real sad indeed. Um, it stays somewhat close. Can use the fleet to attack this as well. So we're going to do that. In circle. Bring the fleet in. Nice. Auto resolve. Let's go for a nice balanced stance, I think. Boom, just like that, Mathodon, uh, Macedon's destroyed. And, oh, we need farm upgrades. That's quickly focus on that. I think we, I saw some down here, which we, we can upgrade. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Obviously, that increases public order issues, but I think we've got enough. You don't have any farms. You can upgrade your fisheries. Uh, you can get that, you can get that, you can get that, you can upgrade that. Chrome can get an upgrade. Nice. You can upgrade. Um, Pop Diva. Get an upgrade. Um, what do we want here? Probably <coughs> got quite a lot of public e order stuff. Let's go for a outskirts. Upgrade that town. Boom. So we should have a huge increase in food and income shortly. But yeah, just like that. Boom. And once these guys are finished up, we're going to be looking pretty solid indeed. Ready for orders. Um, did we lose ships? I thought we had fourteen. Uh, let's hold off on that. Let's raise more of these guys. I think they're super cool and bad ass. Um, that's gonna obviously going to decrease our income, but fair enough. Um, that should be fixed as well. We just captured all of that. Athenia, what faction are you part of this province? That's cool. Okay, now Athens, I imagine, are still happy with us. Especially since we've taken out their rivals. Pokemon allies with these dudes who are then allies with all of this. So when we go to war, I think we're going to raise another army before going to war with all those guys. Um, alrighty, that's uh, end of turn. Income's looking healthy again, 6,700. It's going to tank a little bit once we start um, getting more troops, raising another force. But I think we're in a good position. Also, we're expanding our navy. Uh, 
a child is born let's take a look it's probably yeah, these two good at least they are having kids so our family is expanding just need to be a little bit careful with our faction leader i don't want him to die um so yeah our next sort of we have to attack these guys it looks like who are you on minia who are you allied with you are actually not allied with anyone so you don't mind you can just straight on attack and we can leave straight away we've got three three armies i think will be fine right marines or oh, we can just build marines okay cool oh we got archers spartan archers are still the best i think um, what do we need here? Got the hoplites, got the pikes. So yeah, I think just the swordsmen. Let's get the Spartan swordsmen. Oh, no, we don't need cavalry. That's what we need. Get three units of those. I was saying, saying that. That's march here, then do it. We'll be leaving Europe shortly, going into Asia. Do we have catapults in this as well? I swear we did. But that's fair enough. I'd rather just take the um, more sort of troops. Let's get some hoplites, assault the hoplites. Nice. Get these guys gone, we can then attack this, start the invasion. Uh, we need a spy, where are you, are you there? Um, yeah, we need to start moving you up. I think we uh, can't afford it actually right now. Should probably get another one. Oh, you need to get deployed, thank you. Increase our tax rates. Just hire ferries to ship our army across. But yeah, um, exploit, resist. So Sparta's unwavering traditions have gained respect in the Hellenic world. Many who aspire to be a Spartan way of life copy our way. Should this continue, resist, exploit, wealth, but we get endeavors, public order, prosperity. Um, yeah, let's go for the exploit. That's fine. Um, obviously, lost a bit of my cash. Cavalry has been recruited. Inspire populace. And obviously, when a people are inspired or motivated, they um, work harder. Increases in um, income, etc. A couple of extra factions getting sort of starting. Cool. Um, these guys, I don't know how many cities they've got, but they're going to fall relatively quick, I imagine. Uh, we need to go down Commander Men so we can get that campaign map movement range next turn. Declare War. Yeah, got quite a lot of um, allies. Pergamon, Pontus, so we're going to war with all of this. And Bactria's way back there. Uh, continue the siege. We'll send the fleet here just to keep an eye on them. I'm going to recruit another spy as well. So we can see what's going on. Oh, I've only got two. Or two. Um, where's that other spy? It's you. And you're just chilling here, actually. Oh, man. Okay, well, you need to come this way. Don't care how you do it. Just as long as you get there. Nice. So for you guys. Okay, I'll resolve this. Occupied, get the skill up. Uh, problem is now we're in territory that we need to convert everything over again. Uh, I'm gonna keep the food. Amphitheater, get rid of that. Animal breeder, get rid of that. Uh, let's keep the barracks here. It's only level 2 barracks, that's fine. Our cash. 
got some upgrades going on. Let's get you and we'll get you. Move you up. Move you guys up. Then we're going to get um, spears upgraded. But you can sit in the city as we go down to Pergamon and then Ephesus. And then, yeah, we'll sweep Black Wake off to Galatia, things like that. Um, we can actually even recruit another army, I think. But not now, we don't have enough cash. Get a Druza here. Just a, we need to get another champion at some point, but we need to get a larger... Um, larger Imperium size, I think, before we can get more agents. What are we technology we're going for? We're going for more mercenaries. Okay, cool. Get the spy up. I don't know what troops they have. Hopefully nothing too crazy. Um, let's end a turn and then we can wrap things up there for now. But yeah, I think we've done a lot of this episode. Taking out the Macedonians. Started a war in... I make the started a war in um, Asia. Asia Minor. The invasion has begun. Peace negotiated. Research complete. Oracle at Delphi. Um, we're going to quickly put these in before I forget. So I'm going to go for Temple and... I wonder what... Oh, my Master Field. I wonder what... Um... What Hillman? Garrison, oh yeah, so it's not, not going to get a lot here, so we should probably focus on get some more outskirts, I think, get that industry going. Can we trade with anyone now? Definitely not, okay, yeah, there's, there's a weird glitch going on with that, I think. Otherwise, we'll be making tons more money, but that's fine. Move you guys there. Start the siege. Cool. Alright, let's wrap things up there. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and a comment down below and subscribe to see more Total War content on the channel. And I'll check you guys out in the future.